Hi guys, I am Abdul Mukit and today I am going to show you how to create a countdown timer with pause and resume button in Android Studio. The very first thing which I did is that I have created a new Android project with a name called countdown and then I am going to now I am going to drag a large text then uh, toggle button mm. I need a button and one more button ok select text I am going to give it an ID to TV1 and then text to timer now this button I am going to give it a text to start ID to start button ok this is going to toggle button and then id of this one to cancel button ok I am going to change the text to cancel ok now for this I am going to change the top text off to pause then text on to resume ok now go to your java file and I am going to declare some private Start button, start button, and then cancel button. Target toggle button, talk button. Okay, now let's take your private boolean is paused is paused equals to false and then private boolean is is cancelled equals to false ok then private I'm going to declare a private which will hold the resume time so I'm going to take a long and time to remaining time it was to zero ok on our on create I'm going to say cancel button let's say I am disabling the cancel button and and toggle button can okay uh, on click listener on a start button disabling the start button and then enabling the cancel button
and top button as well. Now I'm going to declare a long This is the total time of the timer guys I'm and it's in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds 10,000 milliseconds is equals to 10 seconds so let's just comment it okay now count the interval still text we want it's to decrease one second so 1000 milliseconds which is equals to one second we just write new countdown timer okay and it's going to take these as context so he has element okay and then countdown timer okay we need to import uh, so not import hit alt plus insert and then go to imp uh, override methods and you know on tick and on finish click ok and then add just one more bracket and here you need to type start now wait guys first do this ok here i want to do something is out equals to false and then is cancelled equals to false now in our on tick here go there and say if is false or is cancelled then cancel else else we want to start our timer so tv1 which is the text view but divided by okay now I'm going to store the value of millisecond and this in a variable called remaining time now go to your on finish method and on finish method is what that what you want when your, your timer hits zero you can play ringtone you can vibrate your phone for this tutorial i'm going to just change the text to tv1 dot now we are done with our start button now let's create an on click listener on our talk button which is our resume button so this talk button dot set not set text talk button dot new on click listener and then new on click listener we are going to detect if talk button is checked or not so do it if button dot is checked this place if top button is active but checked then we are going to say is paused equals to true okay else is false equals to false now let's just copy this now and paste it here okay now we need to change 
these two remaining time since we want to resume from the time which is again not from the 10 second okay so we are done with our pause button as well let's create a new on click listener on our uh, so we What you want when we cancel? I'm just going to say that zero. Timer is zero. Okay. Then we need to start button dot set enable. We need to enable our start button. Then we hit cancel button and disable our top button. and our cancel button as well and the last thing I'm going to do is that uh, I forget to reference my button and text field so we'll just reference them in our own create Okay guys, all the references are done and we are done with our coding. Okay guys, it's time to test our app. Let's just launch it. And as you can see at startup, you cannot click pause or cancel button since they are disabled. And when I click the start button, the timer gets started and the countdown started. You can pause it and then you can resume it. And let's just see what will happen when our timer hits zero. Okay, it says time's up, then you can cancel it as well, and then restart, then pause, and then cancel. Okay guys, our app is working. You guys can use this kind of timer in many Android apps. Suppose if you are making a quiz app, then you need a timer, you can create a timer like this. Okay guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe for more awesome Android videos.